Making environments is one of the most time consuming tasks for a 3D artist. And in my opinion, it is ridiculous to create everything from scratch, especially if you are working under a deadline. That's why in today's video, we'll explore and discuss some of the best tools that can help you make the process more streamlined and efficient. So without further ado, let's jump right in. To start things off, we're gonna talk about Gaia, a self-proclaimed leader in terrain generation software for both VFX and game development. And you know what? They've got the technology and reputation to back that claim proven by its frequent use in the industry, in productions such as Star Wars Jedi series. What I like the most about Gaia is how it offers the best of the two worlds. I mean, from one side, it is an advanced software that can be used to create all sorts of gorgeous terrains, which in theory can be anything and anything you could imagine, whether it be deserts, snowy mountains, rocky terrains, or anything else in between. Coupled with a strong foundation of texture generation, but then from the other side, it also comes with a user-friendly interface that is both simple and minimalistic, in addition to a standard real-time preview of the terrains that can reach 16 million polygons, and a free version that you can try for yourself. Now, from a technical perspective, the way Gaia works is through what we call a node-based workflow, similar to what we can find in software such as Blender. This means that we can create breathtaking terrains by combining and mixing a group of boxes that we call nodes, each with its own unique features and details that can be adjusted. For example, there are nodes for mountains, rivers, cracks, and even a group of noise nodes to create different terrain details. As an alternative to Gaia, we have World Creator. And let me tell you, they are almost at the same level in terms of quality and could potentially challenge it for the number one spot in the field. However, they are fundamentally different tools. Let me explain. The main difference is that instead of nodes, World Creator has a side panel similar to that we can find in Photoshop with a layer-based structure and a clear hierarchy that we can use to establish the terrain details, shapes, colors, and more. For example, we have the global layer that features the primary elements of the landscapes, such as picking the base shape type, like dunes or mountains, as well as how details we want the landscapes to be. Now, I know what you are probably thinking. You are saying that this workflow is more limited, but hear me out. It is definitely easier, but I wouldn't call it more limited thanks to the presence of filters that we can stack as much as we want on top of each other. And we do this to add all sorts of details to our surfaces, such as erosion, canyons, and rock effects in addition to a manual terrain sculpting mode to either sculpt the basic shapes of the terrain or adjust the procedurally generated landscape using the different range of brushes and tools the software provides. Obviously, this is not to take any credit away from Gaia, because they are just two totally different software, but it all comes down to personal choices. But is this the case for the next software? Before we continue, have you ever found it hard to create believable or realistic terrains inside Blender? Do you sometimes struggle to populate your environment or apply realistic environment textures? Maybe add grass, vegetation, water, and so on. If this is the case, well, the True Terrain add-on from TrueVFX is one of the best solutions for that. True Terrain is a complete terrain creation suite tailor-made exactly for you Blender users. It allows you to effortlessly create terrains using height maps, adding materials, snow, grass, dirt, rocks, and so on with more than 160 plus seamless textures. Actually, the add-on offers also 320 plus assets, 29 height maps, and four types of water. The add-on uses a streamlined process where you can create your environments or terrains step-by-step -step by building the terrain itself, applying shaders, adding assets such as rocks and trees, and then adding water bodies. All the assets are extremely of high quality and they are very realistic. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Now back to the video. Another interesting software that has been around for a long time is called World Machine. And it has been the top choice for terrain generation in video games and VFX production for nearly a decade. And once again, like many other software in this niche, follows a node-based approach. So as we can see, nodes are the undisputed solution for terrain generation. 
but what makes this one different? Well, let's see. For starters, it follows once again the usual structure that we have already presented, with a UI that is divided into a section where you can combine multiple nodes together, such as noise, natural filters, and add things like erosion and snow, or even a water system and textures. You know, all the expected regular features, but what makes it different you might say? Well, what sets it apart is the presence of a layout system. So basically the way it functions is that we have a height map layout feature where we can define the shape and size of the terrain by manually drawing it, as well as the ability to control the terrain by specifying where the different elements are situated. For example, imagine designing a continent, then specifying where the mountains or valleys are gonna be, in addition to roads, rivers, and so on. So generally speaking, the software offers a good combination of procedural generation and manual adjustment, with a free non-commercial use version that you can download and start using it and learn with it right now. Also, back in the day, Vue was very popular among 3D artists and VFX studios especially. But it is now a software that I find to be less popular, at least less than what it should be. From first glance, even though the user interface looks like it is all over the place with multiple open windows at once, if you start to get the hang of it, things become relatively simple. What's different about Vue is the many possibilities and offers to work with. For instance, it has a node-based workflow as the core of the program, while still having a manual sculpting mode and painting features for the creation of both realistic and surreal shapes. It also has the ability to import real-world satellite data to generate terrains and build your landscape on it. The satellite data, for example, can be further enhanced with the procedural nodes to add, let's say, different types of fractals, erosion, and all sorts of geological features, which can be further extended with the manual sculpting mode, making it an interesting tool that balances and mixes multiple workflows together. But if you want something different, there is TerraGen, which is a node-based, industry-standard terrain generation software created by PlanetSide. It was in fact used in Hollywood movies such as The Avengers and Captain Marvel. And at this moment in time, I'll be honest, the user interface is a bit more intimidating and old-school compared to the other tools we have shown. But I think you won't regret it if you want to see what it offers. The software is equipped with a gigantic collection of nodes which are divided into stuff like terrains, water, and atmosphere. And they are all similar to the other software in terms of what they can offer and what they can do and the functions they have. But what makes it different is the presence of its photorealism capabilities, in addition to atmosphere simulation and ray tracing previews that we can take advantage of to create animations within the software without the help of any third-party program. But the next software isn't less interesting, which is Instant Terra. I know this is gonna be repetitive, but it is another node-based software for creating and editing realistic terrains in a fast and easy manner, just like the others. I guess nodes are just way too good it seems, or maybe just necessary I would say. Now, what's the deal with this software? From a technical perspective, well, it is true that it didn't reinvent the wheel since most of its features are fairly standard for this type of software, such as terrain generation nodes or the masks and erosion nodes, which are used to control various aspects of the terrain's appearance or features. But despite all of that, I think it is a solid tool that is as good as the rest, and most importantly, it can get the job done. One thing that is different about this software, however, is its instant Unreal Engine and Houdini Bridge, which allows us to edit the terrain in InstaTerra and make them ready in Unreal Engine with one click, or to export the terrains to Houdini to be able to further edit it there. So while the software has nothing different, these bridges can still be the key reason to pick it depending on how often you use the software, but it is still solid as a standalone tool regardless. Finally, we have GeoGen by JangaFX, the mastermind behind popular 3D software like EmberGen. GeoGen is currently in its closed alpha, but it will be soon available to the public. Basically, while the software hasn't been released yet, but from what I can see, it seems to be an easy and simple to use solution with an EmberGen-like interface and workflow to generate height maps and terrains by using a combination of nodes, in addition to sliders, curve control, and real-time preview. 
Generally speaking, this will be a modern take on the node-based workflow that we are used to in this type of software. It is designed with video games in mind as the primary application of this software. And by knowing the reputation of Jenga FX in the field and the industry of game development and VFX, I think it is a software worth checking out when it comes out. So guys, if you are interested in one of these software, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.